Hey, hey, hey. Fresh off that King vs. Queens 3. A lot to discuss, a lot to talk about. You know what I'm saying? I want to get into it while it's fresh on my mind. I'm trying to keep this as short as I can. Certain battles are going to be more in-depth than others. Because certain were more clear. Wasn't much to them. And there's going to be other ones I kind of want to dive into a little bit more. So, let's get started. Got a little something. You know what I'm saying? It's pulling up a little bit. You know? Hold on. Hold on. Let me get right. Hold on. Mm. For starters, this crowd was terrible. Yeah, I said it. Crowd was terrible. What was it? North Carolina somewhere terrible. They didn't react to bars. They were booing, talking. It was just it was dead. It was dry. I felt like the battles didn't have no energy. Like the crowd was just missing. Like I hated it. The event felt so long. Like I think it's, it really kicked off. Like the first battle might have been at like three forty five, four o'clock. It's it's after ten. My trip. When I say that. It's after ten o'clock. You know what I'm saying? So it 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 dragged too long. And normally I'm not the type to. To talk about the time. I like when when the battle is on, when the event is coming, I like to I like to take my time with it. I wanna watch it. I wanna take its time. Like I'm cool. But for whatever reason today, it dragged and dragged and dragged. I'm like, God damn man. Still come on, son. I'm like, Jesus Christ. Um that's what I'm talking about before we get into these battles. Da, da, da. I think that's it, man. First battle was um First Lady Flame for Jack Boy Maine. I predicted Jack 2-1, if not 3-0. I thought that he would have too many balls as well as his performance and moving around, dancing, the aggression, that kind of thing. First Lady Flames can rap. That's for damn sure. She's my favorite MC as far as a, a female battle goes. I said that. My prediction blow. She won this battle 3-0. Um, first round uh, on Jack, he came out. Um, he had a couple lines, but... They were most of them were performance, and again, like if you don't have a bar that hits with that performance, sometimes it just it just looks like you're doing something. You know what I'm saying? You, but for nothing, if that makes sense, like you did something, but nothing came up, nothing came of it. You know what I'm saying? And the crowd definitely wasn't reacting to anything. So his first round kind of felt flat. Uh, first Lady Flames just wrapped circles all three rounds. I don't need to really touch on anything. She she wrapped circles all three rounds. Um, uh, Jack had a, a better second round, you know, we came out there, you know what I don't understand, you know what I don't understand, you know, Jack get, um, came out with that, he had a couple lines there, but, again, it just wasn't, like, what I expected from Jack, and first lead flames come back, rap circles, everything hit, everything landed, she had the crowd in her favor, she just, she had the momentum, and it, you could clearly see it, third round, um, First Lady Flames actually in the second round had a, I think it was on the second round, she had a, um, fuck you for every time a nigga da 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 and fuck you, I don't know if I can curse, oh well, we're here now, and fuck you, lit, and fuck you, and for every time a nigga da 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 and then fuck you, you know what I'm saying, shit hit. So Jack had one of his third round, it was very short, wasn't, you know what I mean, wasn't too extensive, and um, that was pretty much it. To me, it felt like he didn't take the battle I'm not saying he didn't take it serious because he, he, you know, he prepared. He had all three rounds. He rapped, but I don't think that. I think, I think that he he looked at you know his first lady. They live together. They're still like together, by the way. I didn't think they were together. They're, ex they're still together. They boyfriend girlfriend. They live together. All that. So, I think he looked at it and was like, you know, I'm gonna treat this like a, an all star game almost. You know what I'm saying? I just want to come out there. And, and do something, but I'm not really looking to kill my wife. You know what I'm saying? Like, at one point, I remember in the first or second round, the crowd was like, yo, call time on her because she's spazzing on you right now. He like, yo, I can't call time on my wife. You know what I'm saying? I don't think that he was just that locked in to win this battle. He was there to participate, you know what I'm saying, to show up, get a check, but he wasn't there to win the battle. First Lady Flames, 30. Good win for her, good showing for her. It wasn't like, you know, she was. it wasn't like she was like, but just more than no, she was good. She was very good all three rounds. First Lady Flames, 3-0. Second battle, DNA versus Official. I got this battle, DNA 30 as well. This battle was a little underwhelming. It didn't really have a whole lot to it. I ain't got a whole lot to say. Nobody choked or anything like that. Official had all her bars. It's just, I don't know, bro. Like, she just, she get the rap in and just her pacing is just so off. 
and like her bars don't be hitting the same like it used to, and then with the crowd just not there, it's just it just it just wasn't it. And DNA, he was kind of like this about it. he was, but like he had more than she did. She had freestyles, he had rebuttals, and you got all of that type of things. You you, you win, you know what I'm saying? Especially if if your opponent isn't doing more than they're supposed to, and you coming in doing what you're supposed to, at least a little bit, plus you got the freestyles and rebuttals, it's over. It's over, you know what I'm saying? So that was that. Actually, the first four battles were 30s. The first four battles were 30s. Next battle was... Charlie Clips versus Yoshi G. This battle dragged. I'm talking... This is the longest battle of the night to me. I I am sitting there... I'm like, yo, they still rapping. Still rapping? Still, like, I, I'm like, yo. I started nodding off. You, you, it's still your turn? Still your, god damn. Who went first? Did Clips go first? Clips goes first, I think. Or did Yoshi go first? I think Clips, Clips go first. He had a very light round. His first round was very light. Um, he didn't really get into too many things. Um, he had a couple lines, you know, a couple jokes, but it wasn't nothing crazy. Yoshi G comes back. She had a decent start, and it was it was like, yo, she look like she's winning this this round. It like it looked like she's about to win this round. It was like, oh my god, she came out the gate and she had some some lines. Like I'm like, oh boy, oh boy, she's about to win this battle or this round. The more she went, the more she declined. You didn't know what she was talking about after a while. Like, what? What? Am I not? Am I not in battle rap anymore? Am I not? Have I not studied? Have I disappeared? What are you talking about right now? What? And then it got to a point where it's like, now you're overkill. Now you're rapping way too long. You lost the crowd. You looking like you don't even know where you're at, what you're saying. You have no confidence in yourself, what you're talking about. It's time. Call time on yourself before it's too late. She continued to go, continued to flow. And by default, Clips got that round because his was more. He he might he might not have had more bars. Like they might have the same exact amount of bars, but at least he was a little bit more entertaining in a shorter period of time. You know what I'm saying? Yoshi G was just rapping for so long, never getting to the point after a while. And it's like, come on, son. Like you. What's the point? What, 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 where are you going with this? And where are you going? Huh? Where are you going? So Clips got that first round. Second round. <laughs> Second round. Charlie Clips brings out Jesus. There was this guy on stage, white guy. He had a long hair, long beard. Never seen the guy. He's on the stage. He's on stage from the first battle, though. You know what I'm saying? Like, he was just a, a bystander, just a, a fan watching the battle. Come to find out, he's actually a battler. Like, he's down with DNA's Get, get Money and Drink Water. I guess that's a, a battle rap label, I guess. And um, he's in a crucible right now, phase three. And he, so I'm thinking he was, like, probably like wilding out. or No, he's a battle rapper. But first time seeing him. He played the part of Jesus. So, you know, Charlie Clips is going, he's rapping. I think he had a rebuttal to start. But he's going, he's rapping, doing his things. It's better than his first round already. Going, he's rapping, he's flowing. And then he says something like, uh, you know, talking about his heart hoeing. He's like, yeah, since you want to be a hoe, I'm going I'm to have you go talk to Jesus. No, or what do you say? You want to you wanna be on your knees for the wrong reasons when you should be on your knees for Jesus. And he brings Jesus out. White guy, long hair, long beard, and a white shirt and a white jacket. And it, it was crazy. It wasn't crazy. Like, I don't want to overhype it. It was good. It was good. It was very good. It wasn't like, um, I'm trying to get in this scenario. Um, God damn. Drawing a blank. Hold on. Let me get, I want to I give y'all, like, uh, see, I want to say, like, remember the saga, Mike P? The saga brought the cop. But that was more of a serious note. I'm trying to think of... Ah, forget it. But he brought out Jesus. And it was cool. Like, it was good. I'm, I'm not telling y'all, like, yo, it was... Oh, my God. Nah, it was cool. I, you know what I prefer? I preferred Miss Hustle's uh, doctor or private investigator or couture. I prefer that. And I know I know a lot of people didn't like that. I'm like the only one that liked that. But, hey, it's me. Whatever. Um... But yeah, so Jesus has some lines, and with the great thing about the Jesus, though, 
And I'm like, yo, as he's going, I'm like, yo, he actually has flow. He has pace. Like, nah, this dude rapped before. You know what I'm saying? And now he's a battle rapper. Like, come find us a battle rapper. So it made sense. You know what I'm saying? Um, but yeah, it, it killed anything that Yoshi G could really do in that second round. Then he, cause he, you know, Jesus, whatever Jesus said, it was a haymaker kind of, you know what I'm saying? Especially to the crowd, like the props and everything that worked for the crowd. That worked for the crowd, you know what I'm saying? So, um, he did that and then he came back and he wrapped again, kind of wrapped it up, you know? So it was a, it was a good short, it was, it was a good amount of time. Um, it wasn't too long. Um, I felt like. I felt like his round overall was short, but like the prop wasn't too long. You know what I'm saying? So you, sometimes you 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 wonder if these battle rap, these battle rappers are they bringing in people to sub in for them for lack of material? You know what I'm saying? Like they don't have a full three minutes. They got two thirty. So I'll tag my man and have him rap for thirty seconds. That'll make the round three minutes. You know what I'm saying? So, but it didn't seem like that this time. It seemed like that was short. His round was short. It was cool. Yoshi G comes back in the second round. She has a um a rebuttal. She some some some. Why couldn't your Jesus be black? Basically, went crazy, went crazy. After that, it was all downhill from there. We had no idea what she was talking about. Um, I'm not even gonna stick on this too much longer. Try clips two zero. Third round, he had more of a serious round, kind of like trying to talk to her. Rebuttal. Yoshi G's second round was so bad. Like the you, the energy was completely gone in the building. Complete Charlie Clips third round he starts talking. He's like, yo, I don't even want to rap after that. It was so bad. It was it was so bad. Yoshi G second round was so bad. He's like, I gotta rap after that. But oh well I will. And he goes and like he he's getting the crowd back into it, but like they're just they're gone. You know what I'm saying? It was just like, yo, you won this battle. This is the rap stuff. Let's get this over with. You know. So he goes, does his thing. Yoshi G comes back. Another round of whatever the fuck she's talking about. Whatever she's talking about. And it's like, oh my god. And now, this is what I want to say. The problem with Yoshi G. I'm a fan of Yoshi G. I like where she came from. I like who she is. I like that she embraces who she is. She's not afraid to come up and say, hey, my name Yoshi G. And yeah, I like to sleep with men. And yeah, I like to do this and that. And yeah, I sleep with your man. You know what I'm saying? I like that. I like that she's being real. The problem with Yoshi G is that after a point in time, that angle can only be used so much. You 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 thought in. You can only say so much of that. We didn't heard it your last twelve battles. Maybe more. You can only use it so much. So now when you do these things, you gotta do something with some shock value. Right? You gotta get on your knee like with Bill Collector and and, and, and you know what I mean? You gotta do that. Or you gotta like reach for somebody. You know what I'm saying? You gotta do that. You gotta you gotta do something. If you don't do these things, and you don't have a clever way of telling us your thought, it's just boring. We heard it before. It's just, now we expect it. The other problem is that when she's rapping, like, it just seems to me, and I, I don't want it to, I don't want to feel this way about it, but it seems to me it's not her material. I get a whole quantum physics feel. The way she flows, and like her delivery is just, here's the thing about when somebody writes for you, right? You can... You can read it, and you can get it, and you can say it. But if you can't deliver it right, it is not going to hit. And every time she raps, she's flowing, but that delivery is just off. Versus, um, versus, uh, what is her name? It starts with a T. I can't, the other little girl. God damn, I can't believe it. The drinks, man. Um, she had a battle on, um, for, um, Queen of the Ring. When she battled, I forgot her name. But the delivery there was good. You know what I'm saying? And although the flow is this sound like quantum physics, the delivery was it was it was alright. It was delivered in a way you could be like, okay, I could rock with this. It wasn't that this time at all. At all. And on top of that, you rapping too long. You are going way too long. Like at some point, you gotta either figure out, okay, I lost the crowd, they not rocking with me. Let me cut my ties and let's just move on to the next round. Or stop, say, not stop, but like, you got to like, in your mind, know like, okay, they ain't really rock with me, but why don't I try this? You know what I'm saying? I'm not saying go for your material. You got some written material, I'm not saying that, but like, you got some written material, go ahead, but put some spin on it. You know 
You know what I'm saying? Do this. Jump up and down. Do something. Grab something. Grab someone. You know what I'm saying? Do something. You got to do something. Because if you don't, we just we just watching. And it's just, you losing us more and more and more and more. And, and it's just, that's just it. You know what I'm saying? So anyway, clips 30. Clear. Um, next battle, we had uh, KCJ. Versus, I'm calling him a verb. I don't know who VZ coat his name verb. A verb. What you talking about? A verb. He got 30. He got smoked. The crowd was terrible. I keep saying that they wouldn't let him rap. They were booing. Um, in his defense, some like he started. <laughs> he had a <laughs> he had a line, just like the I am a rooster line versus uh John John. Remember that? I woke him up. I am a rooster. Remember that? It was something, I, something, something, da, 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 I am a grinder. And I was dying laughing because it only took a half a second for me to hear that grinder, the way he said it, and think rooster. And I was dying laughing. And they booed him. That was his first first round. So that's how we started. Boo, woo, 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 booed him. Terrible. And it sucks because that line was connected to like his next line. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, damn, crowd, like, hold it down. Like, I get it. it ain't cool, but, like, that's not his punch. Let him get to his punch. They wouldn't let him do that at all. They barely would let him rap. But he was not good. He, I can't even tell you one memorable line he had. I mean, he he had, a, uh, I think, a second round. He was kind of talking. It was more like uh, the Miss Hustle third round kind of thing. But he would stick on that for, like, a line or two, maybe three, and then go back to something else. Something not even related. You know what I'm saying? Like, it just drifting off. Like, whatever. Um, so, that was him all three rounds. He was terrible. I think A-Verb should retire. I don't think he got it anymore. I really don't. I don't think... I haven't seen a good showing since, me personally, the Calico battle. I think the Calico, the Calico battle. He had a good round. I gave him the first round versus uh, Easy to Block Captain. Aside from that. You know, he beat Head Ice, but, like, that battle was terrible. Head Ice, I don't know what he was talking about. And you just won by default. <clears throat> you asked me. Um, you lost the hustle. The Tay Rock battle, nobody want to talk about that. That was awful. Um, who else did he have? Oh, well, yeah, another battle. Like, it's just it's just over. As far as KCJ goes, she was pretty good. Um, she had some, some, some a few lines. She was pretty good. She got to get her breathing right, too. You know what I'm saying? Her pace and her flow, right? Her delivery. But, like, she was way better than Yoshi. I ain't trying. I ain't saying, like, you know what I'm saying? Casey was good. She was good. Um, but she deserved this this win. She she packed them up 3-0. Not debatable. Not close. 3-0 clear in Casey J favor. Next battle was Tay Rock versus Vixen. Now, this was the battle that finally gave us some energy. Finally woke us up. Finally, like, yes. Yes, here we go. I'm locked in. I'm tuned in. I can't believe it's 20 minutes. I'm locked in. Here we go. Finally. Vixen goes first. Right out the gate. She had fire. Uh, you know, Vixen has high energy. So she's delivering at a rapid pace. She's going, she's going, she's going. It was a phenomenal first round verse for, for Vixen. Um, I thought that she did very, very well. Uh, she had the crowd. She's walking around with Rock. She's talking to the crowd, talking to Rock, talking to her people. You know what I mean? She was engaged in all angles, everywhere. She was talking. She had uh, a lot of bars, some gun bars. She had um, some bars about some caution. She she had a lot. Tay Rock comes back. Um, the first round, we got C3 Rock. If you don't remember that battle. Some years ago, Tay Rock and C3. That was probably, I don't know. That might have, to me, like, that's up there for one of the most lopsided gender battles ever. Tay Rock was so disrespectful to C3 and whipped her so bad. Like, that's the feel I got in that first round. He was calling her a white girl. He wasn't even saying that. He was the B word. He was white B word. He was a white B word. I ain't gonna lose you white. Why can I lose to a white B? Straight up. He was, he was going off. Going off. And um, I gave Rock the first round. It's, I won't say it's clear, but like he just had the momentum. Like You could tell he was confident in himself. Um, we haven't seen Rock on a big stage in so long. So to see him 
back in that element, you know, putting his guns up, you know what I'm saying? The crowd feeding into that, finally giving us something. It felt good, you know what I mean? And not to mention, he was just go. He had a lot. He had a lot. His material was fire in the first round. Second round, Vixen come back. Her second round was even better than her first round. It was. Her second round was even better than her first round. And um, as she continued to go up and up and up and up and up, I said Rock going to be in trouble. She really targeted caution, something bad. Something bad. Calling her ugly. You don't know why you're with her. You, you, you. What did she say? I got the... What did she say? How about I get rock? But somebody with a rock, and but you ain't got a rock. And of course, you ain't got a rock on her finger. It was it was bad. It was it was really bad. Rock second round was average. It was very mid. Um, he didn't really have a whole lot. Just kind of like just talking. Um, a lot of filler to me. Um, I gave Vixen that second round clear. So it's one one going into the third third round. Vixen she had a go round. She had a uh, couple lines about. One thing I'm noticing about Vixen is pattern is that she's starting to go down like these like personals almost about something. It's either it's either, it's either about her, like her family, or about the other person. Like um, uh, who does she she battled Casey right? She's like you are not, you are not the face. You are not the face right? You are not the face. Um, she had one about went, went the third round DNA. Um. I think she had one with Loso, and this time she had one about her body. You know, tell you about the the, the body the body ish versus um versus official. So she had one about her body or herself. You know, I got I got a fupa body. I'm a fupa body. I'm a I got a a, a big stomach, bigger booty body. A little titty body. You know what I'm saying? She was she was on that third round. Um, but it was a good round. It was a really good round. Um, Tay Rock's third round was very slow starting. But he continued to heat up as he kept on going. And he had one line. I don't know if I could remember it. I wish I'd, I'd tell you. I'm so sorry. Forgive me. He had a line. Because I'm like, yo, he needs like a few more to close this out. His last line did it for me. And I wish I could tell you what that was. His last line. And I'm like, wow. In a great battle at Edge Rock, the third. I got Rock 2 1, first and the third. Now, last battle, Gichi Gotti versus Jazz. This one, I think, was Battle of the Night or um, or Tay Rock and Vixen, but I'm going to give this battle, Jazz and Gichi, for me, Battle of the Night. Um, th this one felt so much more like back in the day. Like, uh, remember Surfer Hitman? Remember that, that? When they were rapping, like the crowd, like <sighs> everything was silent. But it wasn't like because people weren't engaged. We was we want to hear it. We want to hear what you talking about. We, you could you could feel it. You could feel it. And um, and I, I love that feel. I'm like yes, there we go. That battle was good. The last one, this one I could tell already it got even better. You know, Jazz decided to go first. She goes first, and she's like, pretty much telling us what she's gonna rap about in an entire battle. You know what I'm saying? Where Geechee got a slogan from, real, you, you could, you know, it's real, you could see it in your eyes, where he got that from. Um, she's talking about how he got shot on accident. She's comparing him to uh, Marcus on Bad Boys. You know, Marcus got shot um, in, in, in an accident on the butt, just like Geechee got shot by accident on his butt. Um, she's talking about how he went to school for um, law. Talking about how he ain't really got no ops that's chasing him. Um, <laughs> talking about how they they had a, a night together, like they had a night together. I didn't know that. The night, the night together. You know what I'm talking about? They had a night. Um, so all of that, she's she's everything in that first round. She's pretty much laying out what it's going to be. Um, and it was a good opener. It was a good round, solid round from Jazz. Gishi got it comes back. He had a go round. Um, Kind of attack on her character, how she's jealous of the the other Bardashians, um, how she didn't show up for um, the 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 KCJ and the official battle. Um, of course, talking about how she's a dispatcher and how she's 
um, can't be in the streets if she's dispatching, how she he's the reason because he's getting all these murders in the street, that she has a job because she's, you know, sending out the cops for the dispatchers, um, things that happen to, like, Sean Bell and um, just just the recent history of, of you know, of black folks that we've, you know, we've, we've gone through with the cops, the struggles, that she's the reason that these cops are being sent out there, you know, um... It was a go round from Geechee. This round, I ain't gonna lie to you, I couldn't call. I didn't know who to get this round to. I had no idea to get this round to. I'm being for real with you, no clue. So I did not judge this round. I said I'll figure. I'll, I'm gonna have to watch it again or something, or you know, I'll figure it out. I, I said though, I said that if I had to pick a winner, I edged Jazz the rapper. I said if I had to. And I mean, you know, in a battle, I guess. I'm a, I, but I need another watch for this. But first watch, I did edge Jazz the Rapper in the first round. The second round, I gave to Geechee Gotti. I felt like Jazz lost a lot of steam in her, in her second round. It wasn't the same. Um, you know, she was trying to still paint this narrative about the tree. <clears throat> still, excuse me. Um... And then I guess he you know, had a, a situation in Tampa with O'Red. O'Red calling him a crab. And how, you know, he only picks these fights with people when he's in Cali. He got a few people with him. But when he's not in Cali with his peoples, then he ain't really the same dude. You know what I mean? Um, but it, it was cool. But Geechee Gotti's second round was amazing. It was amazing. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Um... Yeah, the whole user, eh, and you, user, eh, and user, you know, you know how Geechee get. Um, his second round was phenomenal. I gave him the second round clear for Geechee guy. The third round, um, I think it's when she, Jazz was talking about the whole sex thing, and um, the night uh, was was funny though. I, I get that in a second. Um, but she had a good round though. She had, she pretty much took everything in totality and summed everything up. So it kind of it was dope how she did it. She started from the first round, um, sprinkled a little bit in the second, and then tied everything together in the third round with like who he is, what we see him for, and who um, she sees him for, and, you know, and why she sees him that way. Like all of this evidence and clues and that type of thing. So that was dope. Um, she had a really good round. This Geechee's third. I ain't gonna lie. Like it started out cool, but then he got to this point where. Um, he started talking about their night together, you know, so I guess it really is true. They really smashed, you know what I'm saying? He, like, he was trying to smash it, but she kept using, like, battle rapper slogans. So, what did he say? Said he was hitting it from the back, then she, no, she, what did he say? Either he was hitting it from the back or he was getting hit, and then she ran away and said, um... You have to find me. Guess which guess which room guess which room I'm in, or um. Oh no, he said yeah. I was hitting it from the back, and she was and she looked back and said that's light, and I'm like nah, that's pipe. And then I was getting head, and then she ran away and said, um, guess which room I'm in. And then um, what else? She had like, he kept going through every battle rapper slogan, and I it lost me. I'm like nah, I, I ain't rocking with this. I wasn't feeling it at all. After a while, it just got like annoying and repetitive. <clears throat> and I was like, nah, I'm good. Um, that said, right now, I got Jazz 2-1 over Gishigati. 3-3 three, three for the men's versus queens theme. Um, so we had Clips win. We had, um, damn, we had Clips winning, Charlie Clips winning. We had um, DNA winning. And who was the third? What did I say? Um, and Tay Rock winning. Charlie Clips, DNA, and Tay Rock. We had th those three winning. Um, we had Jazz. We had Casey J. We had First Lady Flames winning. Okay. Um, next event, they got Civil War Two. I think it's next weekend. After that, um, Ultimate Madness is coming back. I don't know who winning. I'm excited for that. That's gonna be dope. Um, Chrome 23's got another new event coming up. Remind, really where's Babs? That's one thing I meant to. You Babs wasn't no. I I heard Debo's voice. I, I think Debo's in a building somewhere.
But where is Babs? I ain't heard pretty much from her since Chrome 23 came out. I ain't really seen much. I mean, she's been on the trailers, like the old, you know I mean? They'll, they'll reuse her old clips or whatever. But, like, she's always at these events. So, like, I wonder what's up with that. Where Babs at? We just, we just forgot about Babs because Remy came through? It's crazy. Um, but, yeah, this, this, this event was pretty mid to me. If I had to give it a rating for real. Because the last two battles really saved it. I think Clips did what he could to help that battle. Um, the first battle wasn't that bad. First Lady Flame and Jack Boy, man, it wasn't that bad. But, like, DNA versus Official was kind of boring. And um, KCJ and, 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 and Averb was just a wash. And it was kind of boring, too. I'd probably give it, like, a 6, for real. Maybe 5. Between 5 and a 6. You know, I was really excited for this event. I thought it was going to be way better than what it was. And it wasn't. It was just mid. Um... And that is what it is, you know what I'm saying? So, that's it. Um, I'll see y'all later. See y'all next time. I'm about to get dressed, go out, get my boogie on. You heard? And I'll see y'all later. Peace.